so what's good you too what's up with your man it's your boy joshua 23 back in the game with another video and guys in this video i will be showing guys how you guys call uh left stick crab in nba 2k24 now guys i'm not really gonna waste your time i'm gonna get straight into the point you know uh but before i show you guys how you guys could do this move uh this couple things you guys need to do i will show you guys later on but guys this is a great move for all my guys out there that are struggling to score or overall this um pretty much trying to get a quick bucket i got you guys covered and guys this is the move right here so i will be showing you guys later on in the video but first guys before i get started i'll be showing you guys how you guys could do this move let's make sure you guys go into your uh, arches and quit and then after click on controller settings now after you guys click on controller settings now uh, in terms of vibration functions and trigger effect uh, this is our personal preference i got my own only just because i just like it have it on for both uh, vibration functions and the trigger effect but you guys don't come in the comment down section below and be calling me or me having those two settings on because i know majority of you guys are watching this view have that setting off but it's up to you it's our personal preference but that's not what um this view is about now when it comes to the pro sick orientation make sure you guys have that on absolute now guys this is very very important uh and make sure you guys have the upbar offensive mode on absolute as well but the main key and the main thing is that make sure you guys have the pro sick orientation on absolute that is that is very very important um i do believe 2k will have that set up for you but just uh, double check um the reason why it's important is just because uh any job move that you guys shall perform in the game like the game will let you register um doesn't matter if, if if you guys are driven towards the hash towards the corner the base side you guys um the, the game will still let you um do any move so make sure you guys have it on now next thing too is that um this is just me showing you guys like a couple like gems that you guys could go and practice your moves so you guys could go into the art of shooting uh you guys could also go into the chris brickley and finally uh you guys could go into um, the practice um team facility now that's for like the um the nba team that you guys play for in my career so as long as uh, you guys like are in the nba team for my career you guys could um, go into the practice facility now those gyms are very good for you guys to go and practice your moves uh, last thing too is that guys when it comes to get rid facility please guys do not go into the get rid facility only just because with it get rid facility guys we're in season two and i still can't believe 2k so it hasn't fixed the lagginess the um responsiveness and like the choppiness i just don't understand why because it's like every time i be going to the gear facility i still be like expressing problems like that um, I don't know why 2K is gonna fix it. Definitely makes no sense. But it just goes to show how this million dollar company like has issues with the game and just don't care about like the fan base or the consumers, you know. Now I could go and rent and rent and rent all day, but honestly guys, just make sure you don't go to the gift facility and go to like the gyms that I'll show you guys in the video. You know, but other than that, uh let's get straight into it. Now, guys, I will be um, showing you guys um, a controller cam as well in this video. So for all my visual learners out there, so don't worry, I got you guys covered. Now, this is just me uh, freestyling. And guys, let me know in the comment down section below like, what type of videos you guys want to see. You know, um, I'm definitely going to be posting my dribbling videos on the way. You know, I got you guys covered. And overall, just um, try to be consistent as much as I can, you know. I can't just be stuck on my uploads, but I definitely got you guys covered, you know. But other than that, uh, uh, this is how you guys do the move, so I will be explaining the move right now. So guys, in all for you guys to do this left stick uh, move, um, all you guys gotta do is that, depending on the um, ball hand you guys have the ball, so it doesn't matter if you guys have the ball in your right hand, or if you guys have the ball in your left hand, uh, just make sure you guys are using your left stick and point it that yegly down to like whatever ball hand you guys are trying to bring the ball into. So uh, in this case, if you guys have the ball in your right hand, you're gonna use your left stick to point it that yegly down to your left only just because uh, you guys are bringing the ball from your right hand and you guys are bringing it over to your left. So just make sure you guys are pointing your left stick that yegly down to your left. And same thing goes uh, if you guys have the ball in your left hand. So if, if you guys have the ball in your left hand, just make sure you guys are pointing your, your right stick that yegly down to your right, you know. Um, whenever you guys have the ball in your left hand. But guys, this is a, a quick clip right here that I want to show you guys on me doing a move in game. 
guys, uh, look how the defense was made defense on me, so I hit him with a the crowd, and I end up hitting that crazy contested shot uh, over the big man. Now, that shot was crazy. I don't know how I even hit that shot. The only reason why I even hit that shot is only just because I, I had my take, you know. But guys, that's pretty much how you guys do the move. Um, so for all my visual learners, I got you guys as well, just in case if you guys don't understand like what I'm saying and then how I explain the move. But I'm pretty sure I explained the topic, but just let, let me know in the comment section, section below if I did. So guys, this is the controller cam right here. You know, as you guys could see, just so you guys just um look at the on the screen and at the controller cam. And as you guys could see, I'm pretty much doing the, the like the move while you know what I'm saying the contract cam is up but guys this move is very easy the only thing that I would say is that you guys have to practice um, doing the move now this is where it, um, it comes down to reps and just practicing the move overall you know so just make sure you guys practice the move because this move is like very very important and you guys want to make sure you guys want to add this move into arsenal you know so just make sure you guys practice and this move is gonna help you guys a lot if you guys want to get a quick um, bucket uh, this is um, pretty much a great move for three-point hunting. So if you guys want to hunt for threes, this is the move right here because a lot of these defenders they be playing way too close. So um, you guys could essentially use this move as a bailout. And trust me, guys, um, once you crap somebody is literally GG, it's game over. At that point, is that is it's up to you guys um, to time your shots off the crabs and so that. But uh, I hope I explained well of how you guys could do this move in this video. But other than that, it's your boy Joshua23. Uh, sorry by the way for this video being so long. It's only just because I want to just uh, want you guys to fully understand how you guys could do this move. This move is very, very important. But for anybody that's watching this video that stay all the way to the end, shout out to you. More of us will come out of the way. Other than that, it's your boy Joshua23 and I'm out.